I'm glad you accepted my hey you welcome to anno 2205 this is Demdog gaming we're running a series on here with this lovely game economy building game and it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast so let's see what she has to say thank you for participating in the lunar licensing program the program stipulates that your corporation set up operative spaceports to act as bases for a new wave of lunar colonization. You will further assist Global Union in the development of a fusion energy reactor to avert Earth's impending energy crisis. Geez, wouldn't that be a solution for our current problems? Officially, only mega corporations are allowed in the program. But it only says I'm a corporation, not a mega corporation. What am I going to do? You just have to Fine. sign in with your corporation name. Corporation name. Hmm. Dems. It, don't use special. That's not a very special character. Come on, he's not. He's not that special. Dem Enterprises. That'll work. Confirmo. Thanks, but I need to see your corporate Which logo looks as well prettiest. for identification purposes. I think I use something like. Nah, I use this one. I think last time. Yeah. Nah, let's use a different one. That looks pretty. There we My go. superiors at the Global Union have All right, so we're gonna pick a place to live here. Uh, we'll get acreage, smallest map, largest map, sweet. You high -grade territory um, for but I want the most building sites, and then you also want to look for product projects for I mean ornamentals. Eh. So we have Walbrook Basin and Cape Ambar. Take a look at the maps. We have room here, and there's a couple large islands here. This one doesn't look like there's really much room to work with, though the map itself is huge. Um, so I think we're going to go with Project for Energy and 17 mountain building sites, 24 coastal building sites. And of course we could go to Cape Ambar, which seems to be a little bit smaller overall as a map. And I don't know, I don't think it'll have as much room. We're going to go with Walbrook Basin. Almost there. We just have to negotiate the terms I think we're going to go ahead and launch it on standard. Conditions and I mean, not standard, advanced. So there's bailouts and no bankruptcy. Um, Cost for building relocation. Oh, there's cost for building relocation. Well, that's gonna be fun. Let's stop. <laughs> Let's not miss. All right. So, yep, we're gonna try that. You are now entering phase one of the lunar licensing program. The Global Union assigned you territory in Earth's temperate region to establish a spaceport and a base of operations. The construction of a space elevator to Global Union So where do they find the room to spill us, build a spaceport, and take over For entire islands? Speak to your hey, where is else? contact person. Global Union wishes you success. Well, I sure hope they wish me success. I'd hate for them to give me this license, you know, be like, you know, we wish Wild you failure, have fun. And towering mountains. And soon you will add an impressive skyline to the picture. Darn right I will. But stay attentive. I was informed a Big Five company has been monitoring the ruined dam for quite some time now. This oh could no, turn they're monitoring. For you at some point, but your prime objective is to raise a spaceport here. Okay. So do I use jacks or? Okay, I'll stop. I'm the kidding, spaceport I won't stop. building site off the coast is still unstaffed, but as soon as you've built the necessary housing, your construction team so will be moving see. in. So let's see. I need to build people. Let's look at this island first. Um, oh, I'm not gonna be able to see any of the mountain buildings. I think it's mountain sides, mountain side, and there's some coastal sites supposed to be out here. So first, I have to build something. I know it's a lot of things to keep in mind, but Adam compiled you a database. Cool, you can thanks, Adam. All the information you need. Uh, we'll put that down to start, and we'll put some people down. That sounds like good. That sounds like a good idea. We'll start them putting down here. And here. Someone call for some workers. Good, good. Construction of new building types possible. We'll go ahead and drop this Organic here. Organic food is perceived as needless luxury we're by also many going to need. Good to see you share the union's perspective. We're going to need something like that and a biopolymer production facility. Which I'm going to go ahead and drop right there. Great. Building material <laughs> shortages shouldn't be an issue We'll anymore. find a place. Okay, so we have to keep adding people. Let's build these into 6x6. Six Because six. that'll work really well. Oh, sorry. 2x3. Two 6 total. Click. And we'll make sure we don't keep skipping. Because I did that quite a bit in the last Anno game. 
which I don't have a series up on the channel, by the way. Apologies. So I need, I have 12 of 25. Oh, I have to build 25 residencies. I thought it was people. I need 50 people. Two per residency. Got it. All right. Keep building them out. I still have plenty of polymers, more or less. They're one each. All right. Connect the roads because everything has to be connected. Construction options expanded. Construction options expanded. I can build a transportation center to increase my logistics supply and a wind park. I don't need to build those. I need to build one more residence. Here, have a house. I probably could build that down here. <laughs> it would have been harder to get a road to go over. Oh well. So, I need for those finished filling out. Cool. I would like, so also like to probably just go ahead and finish this six off. And then we'll surround that with the road, connect everybody together. All right. Hurry up and fill up. I want to do some. Your construction crew is okay. one of the first ready. Keep up the pace. Desalinization plan. Try to catch up. Here's one. For the next Click. construction stage, you'll be qualified ground it. staff Yay. to operate Oh, I was almost out of biopolymers. Make sure that makes to sense. adhere to union standards while providing the required infrastructure. There we go. You need this desalination. Oh, uh, my plan. workforce is fine. These days, it's the only way to come by drinkable water. And I still have enough power. Attract population of up to 200 workers. I'm going to build the info dome next. So let's just keep building lots of little sections here. More sections. That was probably not the best place to build those. Because I want to put the info dome down. So let's. Business success is multiplying. Ah. I'm adding many. Sheesh. I'm out of biopolymers. I could probably build up something stronger to build those up faster. But I need to watch how much credits I'm bringing in as well. Because we come over here and we can find out. Those are even. We are building 10 biopolymers. I want to say a minute. Because plastics are so 2070s. Oh man. That's great. Alright, so keep building people because we need to get to 200. I do want to skip an area so I have a place to put down my info dome to help it be as productive as possible and I just built out all of my stuff all my biopolymers yeah I'm expanding that I want to build faster so we're going to turn this sideways and build another one here then I'm going to build a biopolymer production facility uh, we're just going to put it right here uh, now we're low on power so I need a wind park and I want to put that down here because then I can I want to get them as close to the coast as possible so I might end up moving that further over here because then you get the most power out of your area so that'll be nice I need to keep building it's residencies which now that I have even more biopolymer production capacity should make it so I can build these with less downtime go this way yeah like this yeah that and then this okay so we're getting closer which is fantastic and we'll go ahead and build here 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 and some more roads there kind of yes perfect all right so how fast it's catching up we should be just fine we should be ready to build the info dome which we'll provide me with some information it doesn't fail. Construction options expanded. Uh, I kind of want to stick it down there, but I kind of don't. Um, let's go ahead and demo this piece of road. Maybe we'll stick it over here, and then crap, don't do that. Um, maybe we'll stick it. Yeah, we'll stick it kind of here-ish, and then hopefully it can supply most of this. Maybe we'll make this more production. Well, I'll push it up a little bit higher. And then hopefully it can supply. I'll put it right here. That looks good. Uh, building, building, building. Information dome. Right there. Apparently it's not connected to via road. And a broad range of information services. This will enable your employees to develop their interests as well as their skills. Good. Information is good for you. All right. Now I can go promotio. Promotion. Okay. Let's set things in motion. Okay, how have Remarkable they been promoted? Progress. 
Operator. You've assembled construction crews and ground personnel faster than I was expecting. All right, well, I call that a good start to this series. What do you guys think? Yeah, the first few minutes are kind of dry, but it'll be all right. We're going to keep building out further and see if we can get beyond operators. I'm sure really, really, really hope we can. So, stay tuned for next time, and our next video will be releasing soon. Thank you guys, you guys have a great rest of your day.